Well, we got to talk about Brian Danielson because we certainly he did do. a we, promo we certainly do. We on certainly the do. Uh, show on Collision. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say a lot of things about, you know, I'm going to wrestle forever, I'm not going to wrestle forever, or whatever. But uh, he pretty much flat out said that uh, in the next year he was looking to wind down his career because he had promised his daughter, who is six, that he was going to start finishing up his career when she was seven. And he said he's a man who keeps his promises, especially to the people that he loves. So the time is running out. That's yeah. what he said. I mean, I know that he when when he signed this this three year deal, I knew that at that time that he was he had he had and I don't know if he I think he probably told me, but but I had known that that he was that he was looking at it as like his last contract. Now, of course, you know, everyone who's 40, 41, 42, and they, you know, they've got a three-year deal, they always look at it as their last contract, and then usually they go back um, and sign another one because you can make a lot of money and, and, you know, you're feeling better than you think and all that. I mean, the thing, he had always said that he never wanted to retire from wrestling, but as far as... Um, he didn't want, I mean, he didn't even want a heavy, a heavy schedule. You know, the last couple of years in WWE, he had a limited schedule, and Tony gave him an even more limited schedule. I mean, the AEW schedule works great for him, which is sort of why, again, like, um, I was surprised. I mean, I'm, I, I, again, like, I would not be surprised if he wrestles here and there and, and wrestles in other places when it suits him and when he wants to. But I also never expected that after this contract that he would be wrestling full time. But in AEW, like, you know, he could go and do 10 matches a year and keep his, keep his foot in there and, and things like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, um, it's, you know, I, I you know, when, when guys say stuff like this, nine times out of 10, I'm just going to go, yeah. But this is this is the, 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 the exception. This is the one where I, you know. I do believe that he believes that he is not going to renew um, or at least not do anything more than a show here and there. And this is going to be his last year as a regular full time doing programs wrestler, which is, uh, you know, kind of too bad because uh, I mean, like he knows that he's not as fast as he once was, but this is not a speed necessarily speed game. And as a wrestler, I mean, we just saw the match with Ricky Starks. You know, the guy's right up there with, with anyone in the business. And, um, you know, I mean, some people think he's the best in the business, and he's in that conversation. He's a fantastic wrestler. And, um, you know, he wants to do his dream matches. Um, you know, I presume he's going to do Okada again, uh, probably at the Tokyo Dome. Uh, Zack Sabre, the match we've been waiting for for years, doing that one on October the 1st. And, um, you know, we'll wait and see, you know, as far as what he does. But I know, you know, at other times he's talked about wanting to wrestle when he's 70 years old and be like Masafuchi, you know, who is uh, probably about 70 years old and just wrestled this last week. But, but you know, again, you know, as far as like, uh, you know, not, a, not on a full-time basis or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I mean, when he brought, when he brought up his daughter – and that's you know, the one right there when you when you bring up your daughter and making a promise to your daughter yeah yeah it's not gonna break the promise anything. i mean i do i do know this i i have talked to friends of his who are like this dude is never retiring but the he, idea of, he, of he, drastically he, winding down the schedule i'm pretty he, sure he, that that's what he's gonna do i'm pretty sure he's told me that he's never retiring well, but, he, didn't, he didn't say here also that he was never going to retire. I mean, he, he pretty much just said winding down his career, which is kind of funny when you think about it. I realize he's been injured and all, but you mentioned, you know, he could he could uh, limit it to 8 to 10 matches a year. It's like he's not even doing 8 to 10 matches a year now. It's like he's already on a very limited schedule. So I don't know how much more that's, limited that, it but would that's due, be. That's due, that's due to injuries, though. Yeah, I, I could see a deal where he transitions to – you know, a, a coaching mentor role of sorts. And then, you know, once or twice a year, he comes back for a big match or whatever. But I, I would be surprised also if he actually retired and never wrestled again. I, 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 he didn't say he would never wrestle again. 
I don't think he's never going to wrestle again. Plus, when you think about how hard he worked after he did retire, not on his terms, you know, how hard he worked to come back and wrestle again and how important wrestling was to him. I mean, the idea that it's not going to ever do it again, I, I find well, that know, hard to believe. Well, you know, the thing is that, that, that he's different from, from a lot of people is that he's not a big spender. Sure. You know, um, so because of that, I don't know that, you know, what I mean, like the money that he's made in wrestling, he probably, I mean, he's, he's probably set. So that's not an issue. Um, but, you know, I mean, there's, there, there is a lot of money to be made for him on, for limited dates and things like that. So sometimes you just look at it, um, and just go like, you know, with that much money waving you in the face. But I don't know that he... I don't know that he necessarily needs it. It's like it's like he doesn't need to buy 15 cars. Like some some guys need that, right? And he doesn't need to have the most expensive clothes. And some guys, you know, in in you know, they they need to be out there with the clothes and they need the the mansions and all that other stuff. And um so, yeah, I mean, we'll just wait and see, but uh I mean, I I took that interview when that he did on Saturday and I totally believed it, you know, in the sense of that he is um, going to do a bunch of big matches this year. And then after that, you know, I mean, we will see him when we see him. But, um, you know, and, and maybe, you know what? Maybe the situation of doing so few matches and getting hurt a lot is also kind of telling him, you know, maybe that's what his daughter said to him. It's like, Daddy, you always get hurt. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, I promise one more year. You know, because that that is a factor. That that is a factor. And the other thing too is is that, you know, he doesn't want to do anything irresponsible. And he's had, look, he's had a lot of concussions. You know, I mean, it it almost ended his career. It did end his career for years. So, um, you know, that's another that's another aspect of it. But um, yeah, I was. Uh, but to to go in there and say it now, kind of surprised me. I thought that like if he was going to say something, it might be in six months but he maybe wants to do this you know like the one year countdown thing it's been done before too um and it's you know i mean have a big year have a bunch of dream matches at the end um you know maybe go for the championship towards the end of the thing um you know uh you know those it's it's all uh it's all viable i'm calling it down granny's memory lane are you oh. reading from your memoirs Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new stuff. This is more up to date. You know, I, mean, I more... see. Okay. This is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just. No, said. no, no. Okay. No, no. <laughs> the New <laughs> Testament. Everyone let her go. We lived on a farm 10 miles east of Baker. More and... recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we're just going to be quiet. And you, am I out of my you, mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martell's and Hebes. Hebes? Martell. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Hebes only had one daughter named Alice. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes? The daughter, Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.